The <laughs> Entertainment News Show Extra is on at 1.30 every weekday right here on Fox. And in today's video, Dane Cook uh -huh. talks about the star-studded Fast Times at Ridgemont High live table read. Dane, this is exciting. Dane Cook presents Feeling A Live, baby. And this is, uh, you put together for a table read. The biggest stars in Hollywood are coming together to do a table read for Fast Times at Richmond High. I was listening to Sean Penn on Howard Stern. He's talking, you know, this is all your brainchild. How did, how did you come about with this? Every once in a while you have like an idea that you're like, okay, you know what? This is never going to happen, but you just floated out there anyway. And I called Sean and I said, I, you know, I want to do something that lightens the mood. I want to do something that uh, can help people. But at the same time, I just want to do something that feels celebratory uh, because we don't have movies and we don't have the kinds of new entertainment we love from the, the celebs that we like to see working. So he said, let's do it. So we started making phone calls. I think Jennifer Aniston was lovely and the first person to say, I'm in. And then it just started to wow. rocket after that. So now we, and, and you haven't even heard all the names. In the next 24 hours, you're gonna, your mind's going to be blown. We got a couple more additions. Wait a minute. So, we've got, so you go with Sean Penn. That's the place you have to start if it's Fast Times. Then you get Jennifer Aniston. Those are two linchpins right there that lead to others. Because we all, we all have FOMO, right? Everybody suffers a little FOMO. So Julia Roberts hears this, and she's like, well, I want in. I, I can play a role. And then Matthew McConaughey comes in. My prediction, since we know Sean Penn is not going to play Spicoli, it's got to be McConaughey, right? Dazed and confused. He'll do it. Hmm? Vegas odds, man. Let's, we'll see what happens. Or it could be Julia Roberts. I don't know. Just throw it. Why not? So a lot of surprises this Friday night. Uh, you're going to be blown away. I just wanted to let you know that Dane Cook also just texted me and asked me to be a part of that table read. What are you going to so, do? I don't know. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, you know, since Jen's in and uh, McConaughey's in. I just love when someone's going, yeah, I called Sean Penn, and then yeah. I called Jennifer Aniston, and I was like, that's like me calling Patrick Mahomes. Exactly, <laughs> and him not answering. And Ever. then, <laughs> and, but, you know, as soon as Jen's on board, then everybody's Have on board. Have you seen that movie? Uh, yes, but it's been a long time. I've never seen it. Is yeah. it good? Uh, yeah. I mean, and Dane Cook, uh, where's he been? I have not I, seen him in a long I time. I thought the same the thing. The last movie I remember him, it was a penguin. There were penguins. And what was the girl's name? She's dark-headed. What's her name? I, I don't know that girl. movie. She does a lot of TikToks. Oh. Phoebe Cates. Phoebe, oh. No, 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 it's not All Phoebe. Right. Um, anyway. Anyway, we got more to get to okay. because the Extra also sent us a bonus clip. Yesterday we heard from Brian Cranston about the new movie, The One and Only Ivan. Well, now we're going to hear from his co-star, a girl I was just texting, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> uh, and she talks about life in the quarantine. Let me okay, text Angelina. Here we go. Very good. Go. Angelina, do you have the kids at home? I know that Maddox is off yes. at school. No, Mad's back from, uh, he, he, nice. he had to stay back from Korea. He's going, uh, he's going online, so I think he starts at 6 p.m. at night. Um, oh, wow. Remember, but okay. yeah, they're, all, they're all together, and it's a nice big bunch, so everybody's helping each other out. We're lucky. And I know you've also been very outspoken about women's issues, and I'm wondering, you know, what's your, what's your concern about, specifically about women during this pandemic and what that can do? Well, um, Forgive us, Brooklyn, for getting serious for a second, but I know you're a smart, serious young woman. Um, there's, it's, it's my biggest concern actually during the pandemic is children. Um, there was a 40% drop off of hearing uh, reports of abuse of children. And what that means is that those like the teachers who recognize uh, what is happening to the child and report it cannot see the child. So um, domestic violence is, is a very big concern uh, during this time. But there are many, many concerns. And, uh, and also many people, um, you know, uh, I think our humanity always comes forward in moments like this. And we have conversations like this. Congratulations on the one and only Ivan. Such a sweet movie. It's such a great message, too. Brooklyn, can you talk about the moral of the, of the story? Well, the moral of the story is to keep your promises. Angelina, what drew you to this movie? Well, it was my Shiloh read the book and, and loved the book. And we started reading it together and talked about, uh, you know, uh, Ivan and why Ivan was so special. And I think a lot of people can also relate to that, where there's expectations on them to be what people assume they are. And they don't often have the friends or the freedom to be able to express who they really are and be fully that person. 
I'm wondering, has that happened in your own life? I'm pretty much who I am because I just don't know how to be anything else. <laughs> but, uh, but, but I think, but I think, you know, if, if you ask, do I think people really know me and, and who I really am? Probably only my children could explain who I am. Really. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, interesting. And That's I don't true. think, definitely, as kids, people don't know who they are. I mean, no, uh, it took kids, me forever to figure out who I am. Yeah, I, and I, as Angelina, as we've, if you paid attention to the evolution of her, I think it took her a while to realize. And I think having kids helps you to know who you are. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, when we come back, we've got lots more fun. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And your cats help you know who you are. Yes, and your dog. They know who I am. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely do. <laughs>